Remember how much, like, when mom and dad would buy juice, like the Welch's? It'd be gone in like a day. Oh, the actual Welch's? The actual Welch's juice. <laughs> It'd be gone in like a day. Well, you're supposed to dilute it. Ah, quenching thirst. Full of grape. <coughs> All right, here we go. All right, we're back. We had to get right to it. Dune 2, we had to see it immediately. It was absolutely amazing. Let's, just, my, let's just take a second. <clears throat> First of all, one of my buddies, I texted him, and I was like, okay, because I know he saw the night of, and he was like, it's up in the upper echelon of movies. Like, it's it's that good. And then the whole, <clears throat> it was ranked at 9.4 by MVD when it first came out. Oh, for like a day, it was 9.4. Like yeah. It beat Shawshank, and it was, it was being, like, no. People were tripping, and then it dropped to a 9.1. Has it dropped anymore? I don't know if it's dropped anymore. I don't know. But it was my a phone's 1. recording right now. Um, uh, but it's that good. It was that good to me. I mean, it just the way that they, oh, the way that they shot the movie, the way that Dennis they, Villeneuve. Villeneuve. First of all, how about actually, it's gonna there's gonna be some spoilers. So if you're gonna watch this, I mean, you're gonna want, like, yeah. Spoiler spoilers, alert. Yeah, We're talking about yeah, yeah. anything and everything. Um, so when it first starts out, it the. It just continued like the last movie. Like, it was a within an hours hour later. I mean, it was like a day. Jamis later. was still dead. They were bringing him. It couldn't have been more than like a couple days later, day? Maybe a day or two. That was nuts how they did that. And um, just how everything was. And uh, But the overall time, when see, when he started hanging out with them and doing all his practice. Wow, that uh -huh. scene. When he started hanging out with them, it, was a couple, it had to have been a couple years because Josh Brolin had long ass hair. Yeah, that's true. He was well, I just because I just rewatched the first one. I was like, he's so he must crazy have, shaved they, head. He must have been running with the Fremen for a couple years, and then then I think at least two years for his hair to be that long. And then Brolin came back into the picture, and then they just kept going and kept going. Mm -hmm. It's where they finally got to the end shot there. Now, but Austin yeah, Butler, the original. Wow. Oh yeah, wow, that uh, right there. That oh. when, when he got his little just, knife. <laughs> well, well, when he just tur well, first of all, when he slit the lady behind him. And then turn around and just whoosh, 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 and just like hit the lady a couple of times like a jazz. Yeah, then you turn the other lady and he goes. Bro, I thought I was watching like American Me, that old like Mexican movie and, that they were just like enough. gutting him up. I was like, hey, hey, someone stop this psycho. Psycho. I thought Batista was playing a good psycho. He was a little scared bear compared to this psycho, this guy right well, here. Well, this guy seems like an actual serial killer. Yeah, like, like he kills I'm people all this. the time. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. He did a um, great job. From I'm watching Masters of Air with him right now, and he was complaining about the, I can't stop talking like Elvis, peanut butter and jelly, <laughs> like you know that the whole thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He had like this huge issue with talking like Elvis, and then in this movie, I have no idea who that he character talks is. talks like that, or the he, he's insane, crazy voice. Um, but the, how the the world was, how the sun was blocked out, so the light. That was the so dark. cool. How the sun. How it like they said it was they had to shoot with infrared. The camera, yeah. the cinematography team came to him and showed him this like new thing. And but it felt like you were on like another planet. Another but that's what I mean. Like, they like shot. Real, but but like, I mean, they shot like, it in infrared, so it felt like portraying another world in the same movie like that is is very hard. Obviously, all these movies tried to do it, and they um that was sick. I oh, liked yeah, how it, that, like I wish they were a little bit bigger on the but, but I think it would have played too much into like the, what Ridley Scott had Prometheus like giants looking like. What do you mean? You know, in Prometheus, Ridley Scott had those big giants like that. They were white as hell like that too. Oh yeah, it's well that we talk about how this just feels like that Prometheus. I mean, I feel like it's better for uh, some. I kind of feel like it. Yeah, I mean, more. this is pretty ridiculous. It feels way more realistic and crazy. But it makes me not want to watch any type of stupid little Star Wars, Star Trek, Star. Well, anything. like I said the other day, I. It was a day after I we saw Dune. I was like, let me put on the Force Awakens just to. Let me put this on. When I got 15 minutes in, it was terrible. Terrible. The voice, the force. Spice, spice. Sand planet. We got grandfather, grandson. The one. Darth Vader, the one. Powers. Powers. It's just like, <coughs> wow, guys. Galactic Empire, yeah, Darth Vader. Yeah, the whole thing, the whole battles, the whole worlds, the whole thing. Um, But I just can't believe with how well they followed up the first one. You don't really see that too often. Oh, it came in immediately amazing. When that, that scene when the when they come over the hill and they're like Harkin and Ryan. And they yeah. come down well, and they're just silent like floating. Things. There's like gravity things. They're just like, floating. 
when they were going up the little mountain and it did the long shot of them just floating up there, that, that was crazy. That was nuts. That's when I was like, oh, this movie. Yeah, I, this I, is I looked nuts. at you and I was like, I'm good. This I is great. Like, yeah, good. 15 minutes in, I was like, this is the best movie I've ever seen. Um, I just, uh, and then the very. Hold on. No, that little fight scene up there, though. That little fight scene was so cool. Which one? When it showed them all like covered ops, like up oh, on a little hill. Ridiculous. And they were getting shot and they couldn't use their shields. Remember, they were getting shot with bullets. Oh, that's right. They couldn't use their shields because of the, that's right. the worms. That's why he said that. And that's why he was using those little like hand pistols. A little bullet. He showed them he reloaded it. And just folding those things. What about those lasers? Yeah, those <laughs> lasers were insane. It was like Congo. You ever seen Congo back in the day? Yes. The gray gorillas. Amy gorilla. <clears throat> they used them lasers like that back then. They were cutting people in half. Uh-huh. That's how those were. That was nuts. <sighs> um, the Reverend Mother, how Paul's mom became the Reverend Mother. Oh, the Benny Gesserit stuff just hell. got pushed to a whole, a whole other, other realm. And it's yeah, the, crazy. The way they did that, too, with how they were like, oh, shit, she's pregnant. So another like life is able to like see all these like souls. Yeah, like the little every, pregnancy all the got all the... And, that was trippy as hell. And then Paul doing the same thing and becoming like the the Mahadeep or what do they call him? Mahadeep. Ma- Mahadeep. Mahadeep. Ma- Mahadeep or something? Yeah. Uh, Mahadeep. <coughs> um, either way, it's uh, – damn, they did such a sick job. And the, all the actors did that such That little like, Roman fight scene right there Yeah, is so cool. They brought – like how uh, we were saying um, – like, they did such a good job at making you feel like you're not just on another part of the planet. You're on a whole other planet. Yeah, it's another planet. Like, this feels totally yeah, different than where totally we just different. were. And it's the fucking Coneheads. It's, it's nuts. C- Coneheads is what I was getting. Fucking see it. Conehead vibes. Gone. Somehow, <clears throat> Batista got just destroyed in this Slapped one. Slapped up. Slapped up like a little All right, Batista. Bear. Batista. Huh? Batista in this one. Yeah, I mean, he was at first, it was going good, but then he <clears> just couldn't control it. Tim and all of his little... See, I didn't expect Tim, like, that at all. I uh, thought he was just going to rule and be a badass, yeah, but he Paul, was just getting his ass kicked. Because Paul just kept everybody... It was just another huge, huge like revolution of this like people just coming together, coming together, coming together, this tribe, this tribe, it this seemed, tribe, Yeah, this it tribe. seemed like he was just going from siege to siege to siege but to siege. what's so cool is because, remember, the Harkonnens only estimated for so many. The first one, remember, they're like, they only estimated for like 50,000 here. and then oh, they, there's they, millions. And then Paul's dad and all them decide, they're like, there's millions here. Well, how many were in that little cave at the end? Well, so as I'm saying, all these people knew. So, like, if we just get all these people together to keep fighting, we're going to be able to eventually take them over, and that's exactly what happened. Then the worm power thing is just retarded. The worms well, they coming found through and just those... smashing through the whole entire thing. Oh, at the very end? Yeah, it was crazy. They were so huge. Showed them, showed them on top of it. No! Yeah, and then the whole, like, capturing the blood and, like, drinking the blood from it. Like, like so you can like, have all the souls. Like, you can hear all the souls or pray all the You're souls. You're all over whatever. the place right now. Huh? You're all over the place right now. Oh. Well, what subject are we talking about here? Well, we were just talking about the worms, and you're like, and now the right, now the... Yeah, well, the worms and the blood. They drink the blood. The blood shit is crazy. Yeah, it's nuts how they like have the worms and then they like are basically like raising them in those little things so they're able to like get the blood whenever they want to. See, the spice is kind of like the little bits of it, but then because that comes from like the worms, whatever cocoon shit. They yeah. Said, I don't know. But then they, but like the blood is a real power. Yeah, because those people drink and get like actual special powers. When he, she, um, when she drank it, I had someone said that they uh, she didn't know that that they were real. That she thought that they were just like, eh, you just like whatever rev- fake Reverend Mothers, and then they was f- really fucked her up. Yeah, then she had like shit all over her face, and she has like oh, the she whole became a total whole, yeah, mud dee dee dee. But it was cooler when Paul did it because when he woke up, he was a savage ass dude. Oh, for like twenty full minutes at the very end, Paul is just like on a straight rampage, and no one's fucking with him. Oh, That's sick. That and that end scene when he came in there and they were all still praying and he was like, "Who are you praying to?" He was like, "Praying to me." He was like, "I'm here." He was like, "Stop praying." And he was, he was like, "This homie, is it." One homie looked at him. He's like, oh, oh, and "He's like, he's like, you've been your mom from nine years ago. Guess yeah. who she's praying to?" He was, he was, he was, to me. he was like, "You're not real." Yeah. Then he said that. That was crazy. How he knew? He's like, "You're praying to your mom. She died nine years ago." And the guy's like, "Huh?" And he's like, "Guess who she was praying to?" Me. Me. And he, how he was just so like, I'm the, I, I'm here. here. Like, let's do it. Let's do it. This is what we've all been waiting for. God, that was nuts. And he has all the memories from all the people. And I all the- swear, when that movie ended, if they would have been like, all right, hour break, 
doing three. I'd be like, all right, here we go. Let's go. I literally would have got another popcorn. It just came and sat back down. What's her name at the end? I didn't like that. Um, she was all pissed off. She and was jealous. all pissed off. That scene right there, you're talking about with the yeah. But she was all pissed off and jealous, and like she, and the, the whole time he's <sighs> like, "Yo, if I go that that way with you, <clears throat> bad things are gonna happen." Because he was already starting to foresee a lot of things. He then. knew. He knew, like, yo, I'm gonna eventually have to take this whole entire over. This is way bigger than you, <clears throat> bigger than us. That's what that like that one vision he had, where like, oh, they were all dying, and he was like, "If I stay here, if, if y'all are gonna die out, like yeah. I foresaw, it. it's over." And I like, we're all here. leaving. We're not staying here. Mm-hmm. He's like, "You want to stay here?" He's like, "No, we want to go some of the water." She like left, yeah, and she we got on her worm. Off. Get on the worm. See ya. Bye, sandworm. I'm going to live in the ocean. Like, See now, what dive were, in? What do you think her, her importance is besides just being the wife? Do you think that was like really like because he saw that little, vision? She's got to be some kind of little battle angel there, kind of girl that's like you know gets people together to rile up to stay there. I don't know what she could probably want to stay there for, but it's just weird how she like was like, no, you're destroying your home. No, we're not. I'm trying to give you a better home. This home sucks. Oh, or. She does that thing to the underground bullshit that makes water there on her on her place. Is that a real Something thing? Something was going on there with that. I was catching the Total Recall vibes of like, if you do some fucking alien shit down in here, you're gonna have some. Well, because water he had that up. vision of the oceans hitting the yeah, dunes. That's what I'm saying. So like, what's going on? There? And then when I just watched the first one, when the guy was watering the plants, and he was like, "Well, what's the point of this?" And he was like, "Old dream." So I wonder if that is like a thing, like there's you could bring water here and make it a actual It'd place. It has to be something that, that she has to be somewhat important to stay on there. So that's the only thing that I can think that would hopefully make sense to where she's doing something <clears throat> to bring water well, back to her actual place. In the book, <clears throat> I heard people saying that she goes with him, but in the movie, she leaves. So for the right away, no one knows what's happening. Oh, fuck. People don't know. He made it like very clear that, hey, I'm making my own story here. <clears throat> Oh, so he was like, I'm, you know, and apparently book, but... <clears throat> in the books, the little daughter's already born and like talking around and hey, I know this and that. And then she like, she kills the Baron guy with poison or something, but they changed it. I'm the movie did it way better. Stop Sorry. telling me about the book. The movie. Stop I'm, telling me about the book. I'm all of, I, the more I hear. I pe- like the book. Let me know the characters. Let me know the gist of it. But whatever's going on with the movie, <clears throat> that's the direction that I'm going in. See, for this movie, when people are like the book's better. I'm sorry. This route, this movie is. Hey, let me say something. Way Look better. at me. The book's never better. Usually not. <laughs> it's. I can see that. Let this. me tell you something. You think people thought when they saw like the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit and shit, they're like, the book's better. All those little fucking people that loved all that shit that is going to watch it's that. It's too good. They, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Lord of the Rings was too good. Like Game of Thrones. This is not how the book goes. Yeah, that show sucked, huh? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, man, terrible. I can't even watch it. House of Dragons. Dumb. Eh. But, see what I'm saying? It's like. All the time, of course, these movies are gonna be better. I mean, maybe I mean, obviously, I'm sure there's probably, some more details and another story they didn't mention. Dig deep, but realistically, these big major hitters, like, I mean, come on, what's gonna be better? I mean, already off the bat, I don't want to know any more about the Dune book that I've already like known now because of what the way the direction the movie's exactly. going. Exactly. See, I, I read some more like into it, and it, it seems like uh, that path isn't even possible with what they're doing. I don't even want to see it, know it, because they have his little. He slept with the what's her name girl. Yeah. And now that she's other pregnant. One. And now she's pregnant. So she has the right to be. So like, their little kids are going to be the next generation of like. There has to be something going voice. on back at that planet with Paul's girl that got pissed off, and then the kid that he produced in the second one, and then the he's sister. He's going to have a kid with the Lawrence Pugh. But then in the sister, Florence. she's eventually going to have that baby. That baby's, a, you know, her. Her. Yeah. See, well, she didn't get pregnant. The other, no. the other girl did. Another little Bene Gesserit. Yeah. So I'm saying. Paul made it very clear that he's like he wants to have a child with her. So there's going to be three new kids in the third one. The two kids, the this is why the I mom think I pregnancy, her pregnancy, and now he's clearly having a kid with Florence Pugh. Yeah. <clears throat> See, some people ripped us up saying like it was a bad take that we wanted to make it a show. No, not when you're going to go in a different direction in the book. See, I want it to be as cinematic, but I just want. Ten ep- I want to watch this for 10 hours. I don't want to be over in two and a half hours. Well, no, because that first movie, you could have made like one or two seasons, like we said, I think, whatever. The second movie, you could have made one or two seasons. This third movie, you could have one or two seasons. Six seasons is enough for like a like a series. 
You can't be yeah. like Walking Dead everything where no. you can last 15 um, seasons and at the very end you can go, hey, we're still, we're still fucking doing it. Like the writers are waking up, huh? But I think a good 10 episodes, couple seasons I mean, would have been bro, good. Like I just, yeah, I don't know. I um, I love the direction the way that th- this movie is going because I want to know what happens back on that planet and I want to know what happens with all these children to be born to like all the birthright of the Mahadeeps. See, they're all, there's three new kids. And the one sister they well, showed was the chest. the emperor's gone now. So now there's other worlds that are going to be like, what the fuck, Paul, bitch? No. Well, now, what do you think's going to happen? Because you saw the little, they're coming in the little stars, the new ships, and they're like, they don't give a shit. They don't accept you being emperor. So do you think the third one's going to just fast forward or they're going to resolve that? Like, they just pick it up like the second one, like, eh, two minutes after. I don't know. Because I would like a two minutes after and then a... Uh, 12 years later. I just want a third movie. So it's like, whatever for me. But like, I see what you're saying. I don't know. I don't know what they would do. I know we said nothing. You'd have to show a little 15 minute clip of like being like, yo, yo, this is how it went down. And then like, okay, I'm sitting in my throne with fucking maybe a little gray streak. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, But I just want to know if he ends up taking over, if he ends up saying like, okay, oh, he's no, taking all of over. us worlds he's are going to be, all of us worlds are going to be separate. We don't owe each other's shit. I don't know like what's going to happen with it, but I'm interested in to see because uh, the second one was just fucking crazy. I'm pretty sure he's taken over and he's wiping out a couple people. Yeah. He's like that your whole, the Sardaukar people, I'm pretty sure he's going, you're done. You're done. The Harkonnen, she's going, get out of here. You're done. And I don't know any other ones. You're done. And then yeah. whatever the ones, what's the emperor? What is he? They're called like Credo. They remember they seemed like almost Asian-ish the way they felt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everyone has their own little feel. Like a dodo or whatever. Yeah, he was like, yeah. Okay, all right. It's all like that water and wood and rock. Like yeah, um, yeah. So I don't know. That movie uh, was just absolutely ridiculous in every aspect that I've watched. When he rode the worm. He rode the worm was ridiculous. We had a yeah. That was just like, crazy. What him, what that was nuts, and uh, that the end is the when yeah when he did that oh, to when her, he screamed at the lady. And was the voice. Yeah, and she like she like Ever. fell over, Ever. like had like a little stroke almost. She was like, oh my god, what the hell is going on? Well, to me? then you saw what's her name, Jessica. She was told you so. You didn't want to believe. She was like abomination or some bullshit. Oh yeah, because she was like, you fucked up all my human. plans. No. I'm fucking having the dude. I felt it. Well, because her plan is what's his name's kid, Austin Butler's kid. That's her plan is that kid, not yeah. Jessica's kid. Yeah. So what is that kid gonna be? Yeah. But Jessica is a Harkonnen. They're Harkonnens. They're Harkonnens. They threw that Darth Vader bullshit. Which did, how much more are you guys gonna steal? Yeah. Wow. Um. Yeah. So I'm your father. But only they didn't know. Yeah. Nobody knew. Only the Bene Gesserit knew. But, but they still didn't really specify. And did he give her away? Did she just get sent away? Did she almost die? Was she supposed to be like like? Why did she go to like? How did she survive that? I don't think he explains much. I know. I think that he just saw that he had a kid, and then she Bene Gesserit like we're taking your kid, and then he just didn't give a shit. That was just crazy how they did that. At the very when he end, walked though. up and he goes, "Grandfather," and he was like. Oh. Yeah, he knew, he knew. Oh shit! But see, that's what makes me think. Like, did he know that she was still alive? I think he just put it together right mm. there. That scene with the when they're holding the Atreides flag and everything. Yeah, so cool. You guys got to go see it. I mean, you got to. You uh, guys got to go it's... see it. And the movie is absolutely ridiculous. If you haven't seen the first one, go watch the first one, and then immediately a day later, Ooh, go watch the second. Look at her. She yeah. looks just so crazy. Her part with, I wanted to talk about um, her pregnancy and how she can talk to the baby. and that That's that's okay, but it started to get a little bit like, okay, calm down. When they were having conversations, she yeah, said this. I don't mean, She said no. Yeah. She said whatever. That's, that's I started to get kind of like, I've been there like, do you want a glass of water? She's like, no, not her. What? No, no, me? No, I'm okay. I thought you were talking about her. I'm like, what? Uh, no. Uh, that was a little weird to me. Mm-hmm. Like, the whole, like, I can... That whole process I get. Of, like, feeling and feeling talking. Feeling it, but talking then when to it. It, it might have, it might have went a little too far. It started getting a little crazy. But when not she far was, enough. I was okay with it. It started getting a little crazy when she was like, no, it's okay. And people started looking at her and she was like, mm, her too. Mm-hmm. What? <gasps> yeah, I was like, uh, hold on now, guys. 
But just like the first one, the first one had a couple of little things to it. There was like some of the things were nuts, but it's cool how a lot of the first one, like you just, just feeds on the second one so much and how mm-hmm. they just like circle around each other. It's just crazy how they did that. I heard <clears> that <throat> they had to, um, that the one Mentat little soldier guy, that he was all in the second one. They had to cut his scenes. Uh-huh. And that the director was like so upset that they had to cut his scenes. That sucks. Nah, the movie's sick. Really good. I mean, best movie I've seen in since Dune. Yeah. Yeah, for <laughs> yeah. sure. Nah, I was Dune after Avatar. Avatar was pretty sick, too. Okay, yeah, Avatar. Yeah. I mean, just those that type of cinematic... Yeah. Dune clearly has its own... I mean, it's believable. Yeah. I don't know, Avatar has its own... It's believable situation. God, the movie's cool. So good. I'm going to have to go watch it again, obviously, for sure. And then I can't wait to stream it to watch I it mean, over and over and we over. Didn't so we didn't see it in IMAX, so I want to go see it in yeah, IMAX. Yeah, definitely go see it in IMAX. Really good. God, that little weird, crazy... Ugh. <laughs> it works pretty good. Here you go. <laughs> right there. That's now. her. That's the daughter. Yeah, but that's I. That's the sand world. It has to be, right? Or is that a, that's an Arrakis? That has to be the sand world. She sees the future. What's, wait, what's the sand world? Arrakis? No. Yes. Arrakis. Mm-hmm. Where are they from? Atreides. Caladan. <sighs> Caladan. Fuck. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, that's not Cal. That has to be the Dune world because she's dressed up in the Moi DVD. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. All right. All right. That was it. Yep. That's uh, about that, all we got. Go and see the go movie. Go and see the movie. It's absolutely ridiculous. Unbelievable. I am B D D D whatever. Nine point one. It's an excellent score. I want to give it nine point four. I know. Pump it up. Alright. Alright. Over it up.